This video tutorial will introduce a number of features of the MATLAB development environment. The command window is just one of a number of tools in the MATLAB development environment, also known as the MATLAB desktop. These tools allow you to execute commands, inspect and manage your data, create and manage your programs. When you enter commands such as x equals 1 to 10, y equals log of x, and plot x comma y, They are recorded in the command history here. You can re-execute previously entered commands by double-clicking them, or by dragging them back into the command window for modification, such as y equals log of x minus 0 0.2 times x, and plot xy with star markers. The variables x and y are contained in what is called the MATLAB base workspace, as well as using the whose command to get information on them. The workspace browser here lists their names and values, and other statistics which can be customized by right-clicking here. Double-clicking on a variable opens it in the variable editor, which is an alternative to typing its name in the command window. You can modify it interactively. You can plot from the variable editor and the workspace browser. The windows that are generated by plotting commands known as figures can be docked into the desktop for easier management. You can save all the variables in the MATLAB workspace to a file on disk by using the save command. Save my data creates a mydata.mat file on disk, visible here in the current directory browser, which shows the contents of your computer's file system. You can also create a mat file by right-clicking on selected variables in the workspace browser and choosing save as. You can clear individual variables or the entire workspace with the clear command, such as clear X or just clear. You can read workspace data back into MATLAB with the load command, such as load my data. Or by double clicking on MAT files in the current directory browser. You can preview the contents of many file types by enabling the details panel here. You can change the locations of tools delete them all together, and bring them back with the desktop menu. You can minimize windows to the side, access them temporarily by hovering over them, and undock them completely. The Start button gives quick access to a number of features, such as help and tools for add-on products if you have them installed. These include toolboxes of MATLAB functions for different application areas. Shortcuts can be created to contain MATLAB commands that you use regularly. The current directory browser and other development tools such as the editor used in the creation and management of MATLAB program files are covered further in other videos. That concludes the demonstration. Try these examples in MATLAB now or watch one of the other videos.